Hey, Leo, Mariah here. It's such a pleasure, honor, and a privilege, as always, to be reading for you guys. Let's go ahead and look into the month of December to see what's coming in for you, what's happening in the month of December. Before we do get started, I just want to announce that I am doing a giveaway. I am giving out 15, and I said that 15 personal free readings to you guys. If you would like to enter into the giveaway, go ahead and leave a comment in the description box. It can be an emoji. It can just be, you know, what are you wanting to do for the holiday season? What are you looking forward to for the new year? It does not matter. Drop a comment, a one comment per entry, right? And I am going to announce the winners on Thursday. So I'm going to do a live announcing the winners. Please make sure that you get back to me if your name is announced in that live giveaway, that you get back to me within 72 hours within your name being announced, within your username being announced, so that way I can go ahead and set up your reading. All of the 15 readings are going to be free 10 minute readings, and I just wanna be able to give back to you guys on the channel. I know I had a giveaway not too long ago, and this time I'm even doubling it. So I wanna thank you guys for just being a part of the channel, being here with me, just staying here with me and me being able to be in your lives, in your homes with you on a weekly basis, daily basis. I just love you guys. So happy holidays, happy early holiday season. I love you. So let's hop into your reading for December now that that is out of the way. So spirit guides, angels, ancestors for my Leos. What is it that they need to know for their December? What is it that they need to know for their December? Thank you. What is it that they need to know for their December? Hangman is on the bottom of the deck. So I'm hearing that I'm hearing that song that's like all over TikTok where it goes, it's cool when they it's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Um, right? Birds of a feather, they flock together. That's why I don't trust them. I think that's how that bottom part goes. So Leo, who's been guilt tripping you? There's somebody that's been guilt tripping you. There's somebody that, and you're, and the thing about it is you're so unfazed. You're so unfazed, but I'm looking at a person or persons, potentially even up to three people, but you have someone or people in your vicinity that's been trying to manipulate you, trying to guilt trip you, trying to make you feel bad about doing something, maybe even trying to make you feel bad about not being able to help them or be of assistance to them or be able to give back to them. And my thing is here, Leo, you're trying to prioritize your well-being first. And that's the thing. You're always the, the shoulder or the strong one to go to. You're always the reliable one, the dependable one. You're always the one that at the end of the day, if nobody else is going to get it done, I'm going to get it done, right? That's your model. That's how you move and that's how you roll. However, if whomever this is, despite you being the supportive role or the strong one or always having to carry the brunt end of circumstances, they still feel like either you're not doing enough, you haven't done enough, or you can do more, even though you've done what you could or you are within your capacity and, what, and within your means of what you can do for people. But yet there's it's like this gnat, like a fly, like a gnat, right? You ever have a gnat in your house and it's just like... Mm -hmm you know, going all crazy and around. That's what this feels like. And it, the, the thing about it is it, it agitates this person or people. Again, it can be up to three people, but it agitates this person that you're unfazed by them where you're willing to say, you know what, I'm not, I'm not going to let you manipulate me. I'm not going to let you impose your way or your will onto me. I'm not going to let you try to guilt trip me. And especially Leo for the one that I'm talking to, it's like, this person may have hurt you or backstabbed you at some point in time and then still and then still expect you to do for them. They may have crossed you or even said hurtful things to you or even said demeaning or belittling things to you. And they still expect you to feel like you are obligated to them. They still expect you to feel like you have to be of service to them or do for them. And mind you, again, you're in your element. You're trying to focus on your money. You're trying to focus on your foundation. You're trying to focus on your livelihood and your future. You may be right now focusing on getting your money together, maybe your investments, especially with the economy, with how it is right now. You may be focused on a new job, a new home. There is a new beginning and that you know will bring you emotional contentment, emotional satisfaction, and make you feel 
really in your in your skin again make you feel alive right again this could be opportunity job or just getting your finances to where you need to be and it's like even with you trying to push for it and you're again your energy is unfazed it's still nonetheless burdensome to have this person feel like they have ownership over you or that they feel like you are obligated to them or feel like leo you need to do for me and despite all that I love your disposition because you're not moving, you're not budging. In the past, this person may have had their way to impose their will onto you where you may have gave in or you may have caved. Um, specifically for Leo, this may have been, been a family member, I'm not gonna deny. This, this may have been a, a family member where, especially if this is like a parent for you, a parent may have at some point may have done this because I'm mom or I'm dad, you need to do this for me or you need to be of service to me. For others of you, if this was a relationship partner, they may try to use either the kids as leverage or they may try to use the history that you two had together as leverage for you to still be there for them or for you to still do for them or for you to still come around and be of service to them. And you're at a point where you're done. You're, you're done. You don't want to carry the brunt end of things anymore. You don't want to have to continue this for it. And because you're such in a gridlock, gridlock perspective currently, Leo, where it's like, no, I can't keep lowering, I don't want to say lowering my boundaries, but I can't keep allowing myself to accommodate this person. I just can't. There's so much at stake for me right now in my life. There's so much at stake that I want to go after. I have to put me first and take care of me and my happiness. And it's like, I'm no longer willing to compromise my happiness and my sense of self and my sense of self-respect or my sense of well-being to be there of service to you when you've either belittled me betrayed me spoken bad about me talked down on me you may have um expected me to do x y and z for you and i've done that but what do i get in return nothing not a damn thing right jack squat that's what i'm looking at here jack squat i don't see i don't see the reciprocation being equal in some regard right i don't see the reciprocation being equal in some regard it's like you can go above and beyond and move mountains for this person or you can even when you don't want to even when you know it may not be the best idea it's like you can go and do that and then still leo i need you to do more i need you to do more and that that makes a lot of sense why you're in this gridlock position i want to see a little bit more here tell me more about this for leo and they're in december tell me more for my leo to december You know you're not gonna do damn. Ooh, sorry, I didn't mean to cuss. Sorry, I didn't mean to cuss. You know you're not getting nowhere with this. It's it's a it's literally it's a it's a hopeless cause. It's like throwing money into into fire, right? It's like you know how sometimes you just you got a burning hole in your pocket and you're just spending money, spending money, spending money. Let's put this in the context of acts of service. Right. It's like I can do for you, do for you, do for you and still get nowhere, still get nowhere. And even then, this person's intentions aren't aligned for your highest good. They look at it from the perspective of, well, what can I receive and how does that benefit me? And how does that help me get ahead? How does that help me succeed? Even if it comes at the detriment of Leo, how fair is that to you? I don't think it is. That's me. I don't know. I mean, maybe you're thinking, I don't know. I don't know if you, <laughs> you think it is or not. I just know it's not. And this person has a way of asserting themselves into your life just because, again, either they are your mother or they're your father or this is your child's father or mother and you guys have kids or this is somebody um, they feel like because they've been in your life, whether it's romantic partner or not, they've been in your in your life or they feel like they should have certain precedents or a certain hierarchy when it comes to your acts of service towards them because of the role that they feel like they have in your life and that's not fair to you that's not fair to you and they're being very stubborn about this they want their way this person can throw tantrums this person can get upset this person may have um the abil ability to like i mentioned belittle you or demean you or try to get like i said and the guilt trip is strong here i'm not gonna deny it's strong strong guilt trip energy and for you, Leo, it just feels like enough is enough. How much more can I take? How much more can I endure? I don't want to deal with this. And that's why I really do love the fact. I mean, I just got to show you. I just got to I got to show you if I can pick up these cards. I got to show you. If I can pick up the cards. 
your energy coming through. The sun, king of wands, and nine of pentacles. That's what you're focused on. Your own well-being, sense of happiness, and sense of comfort. And I bet you too, let you, let you, in your circumstance, right? You may be trying to get yourself to where you want to be. Some of you may be doing good financially or just may be comfortable in life. And there goes Lucky. Uh, comfortable and good in life. But let, for one moment, Leo, you end up slipping. You end up falling. <laughs> You know, slipping, you end up falling and you're not able to do for them, right? Because maybe, for example, you're in a bad predicament, right? Uh, something, bill may come in or a circumstance may happen or you may lose a job or something may come out of the blue that you weren't expecting and now, oh, shit, all of a sudden you can't really be there for this person. I bet you my bottom dollar, they would not return the favor in the way that you return the favor multiple times over and this is the issue that i'm seeing here and it feels like this is somebody that in the month of december is going to be like that gnat in the room flying around trying to da -da -da, get get to get in your ear to try and guilt trip you manipulate you make you feel bad about either not being there for them or being able to do more for them or you should be doing more for me especially oh it's the holiday season i didn't even think of that it's fucking holiday no wonder why this energy is coming through it's the holiday season right and this is the time where you know, not everybody celebrates the holidays and I send my love to the ones who have to spend the holiday season alone. Just know that I'm with you. My heart is with you and I'm right there with you. But definitely around the holiday season, a lot of this energy can definitely come to the surface. So let's see. Tell me, tell me a little bit more. Just a little bit more from Leo's perspective outcome in December with this spirit. Ace of Swords. Love it. I love your energy. I love it. Your energy has me stoked. It has me pumped. Straight up. Has me pumped. You know why? For you. Despite everything that I've just said over the span of this, these 12 minutes, you know, you understand the circumstance at hand and i do believe you also understand your emotional vulnerabilities when it comes to this person you understand that this person because of what level of hierarchy this person stands on when it comes to you or who this person is in your life again whether it's family like a parent specifically whether it's a lover uh somebody that may have some relevance in your life you know how you can be emotionally vulnerable to this person to some degree but the fact that you are very aware and cognizant of that is the key here. And by you being aware and cognizant, you're no longer going against your better judgment where you may have done so at times being there for this person or doing for this person, you're no longer going against that. Now you're in the space of I'm done. You're cut off. I have nothing left to give. I can only give to situations who are going to give equally back to me. I no longer can give you my money, energy, love, patience, time, loyalty, devotion, my acts of service. I can no longer, I have it. I'm bankrupt on it. I'm bankrupt. I don't have it to give. And in the month of December, you are fully standing on that line and you're not moving, you're not budging and you're not giving in. And this person is going to have to cry about it. They're going to have to suck it up tough, tough tits, you know, hit the kick rocks if they got to, but you're, you've done enough. The line stops here. So I like seeing this, just be cautious. Cause again, this person, whomever this is, you already know they're going to be coming back in December. Or you're going to have to deal with this person in December. And at this point it's just like, I'm, I'm totally, out. I'm checked out. You're checked out and stay checked out, Leo, especially if this person has a high price tag on your energy your sense of happiness and contentment and your own sense of mental, emotional, and psychological well-being. It's not worth it. That's too much of a high price tag for you to pay. And you know this. I know I'm not telling you anything you don't know, so I don't want to be redundant, but you know this. So stand strong, stand on that post. You're not wrong by how you're handling this. You're not wrong by how you're operating with this person. If it was me, I'd be doing the same damn thing too. Leo. So I'm right there with you in tow. Stand strong, stand firm on that. And again, because you know that this person can tap into that emotional vulnerability that you have, but you're aware of it now, you're able to, if you will, move more efficiently in this situation with this person. Leo, I love you. Take care. Have a wonderful day.
uh, December. Of course, I'm going to be back. Sorry for the long uh, hiatus. I just needed to mentally and energetically regroup from YouTube for a little bit. But again, giveaway, leave a comment. Again, emoji, what you're doing for the holidays, what you're looking forward to. I mean, even say, hey, Lucky, because he didn't came and crashed the video. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and enter your username into the giveaway. And on Thursday, I'll announce it on the post of what time I'm going to go live. But on Thursday, I'm going to go live and announce the winners. The live video will stay up. So that way you can go back and check it out and see if you are announced. And I look forward to reading for all 15 of you that will win the giveaway. Bye, Leo.